So John, our objective today is to give you a lot of safety information. Then we're going to show you some simple riggings. These are the ones that most people understand. Then we'll build on that with some more complex riggings. And somewhere in the middle of the day, we're going to give you uh, probably one of the most important things is the stuck assessment so that you don't overtax your gear. Okay, the first thing I want to do is just take a look at some of the different kinds of winches on the market. Uh, you've got an electric winch. This is, uh, uh, what, 9,000? 9, 8,000. These are probably the most popular ones on the market. Uh, 8,000, 9,000, 9,500. Basically, what you need in the way of a winch is something that's uh, one and a half times the rating of your gross vehicle weight. Right, I put it, I put it on a scale and it weighs exactly two, <laughs> two tons. <laughs> All right. Over here, uh, we have a hydraulic winch. This one's made by Mile Marker. And this one runs off of the uh, power steering pump. Just take a look here. This is the, uh, the power steering pump here, and it feeds hydraulic fluid into the uh, hydraulic motor here, and then comes feeds. Can you see the the plumbing over here? Yeah. And it feeds that back, and then it goes into the steering gearbox, and then it goes back through the cooler into that. The nice thing about the hydraulic winch is it's 100% duty cycle. As long as this engine's running. Uh, this winch will keep pulling. Uh, electric winch, uh, if you run down the battery, you know, you're done. Of course, true is, you know, it's true here, if I don't have an engine running, it's not going to pull. You know, most people, for most people, this is a, a great solution. Um, most time when you're stuck, you, you generally only need to pull yourself a couple feet. And most people don't use their winch even once a year. You know, it's, it's just a great peace of mind to have it with you. Um, so uh, a winch like that is probably all you'll ever need.